The rest of the initialization blocks will include codes which make sure the control is in the proper mode for machining as well as tell the control how to interpret the instructions that it's given throughout the part program. For example, this G90 code tells the control how to interpret the coordinates it finds in the program. The most common method of writing coordinates is to have them represent a specific location on a grid. This is called absolute programming. Under absolute programming, coordinates are referenced from program zero. Absolute coordinates define a location in the work coordinate system grid. They are similar to a street address which locates a house. No matter where you are in the city, you can find the house by using the address. In the second method, called incremental programming, coordinates are referenced from the tool's current position on the grid. The sign indicates the direction of the move and the number value indicates the distance of the move. Incremental coordinates are similar to directions given to find a house, such as go two blocks north and three blocks east. The only time these directions will work is if we know where the person is currently located. Absolute and incremental programming modes are activated with the G90 and G91 modal codes within the initialization blocks. After the sequence number in the block, a number of different address words may appear. The X, Y, and Z axis address letters and the values that follow indicate either coordinate locations or signed incremental distances. You will recall from an earlier lesson that a coordinate is a set of at least three axis addresses and values which define a location within the coordinate grid. The coordinate found in a block is the endpoint of a move and represents the location of the machine when it has finished a move. With absolute programming active, when the control reads this block, it will position the spindle at X 3.0 in the work coordinate system, three inches from program zero on the positive side of the X axis. However, under incremental programming, the control would simply move the spindle three inches in the positive X direction.